Small Wonders. Are you ready for a story? I'm Tracy and I've got another classic book for you today. This one is called Goldilocks and the Three Bears by Miles Kelly, illustrated by Francesca Asarelli. Shall we begin? Goldilocks and the Three Bears Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a house on the edge of a wood. There was Father Bear, Mother Bear and Little Baby Bear. Every day, the bears had porridge for breakfast, but one morning they found it was far too hot to eat. Porridge for breakfast? They're quite healthy bears, don't you think? Let's go for a walk in the wood while the porridge cools down, said Father Bear. A little girl called Goldilocks was also walking in the wood that day. She had wandered too far from home while playing. At last, Goldilocks came across the bear's house. The door was open, so she went in to have a look around. Hmm, Goldilocks seems very curious. Goldilocks saw the three bowls. She tried porridge in the biggest bowl, but it was too lumpy. The medium-sized bowl was too sweet, but the porridge in the smallest bowl was just right. So she ate it all up. Hmm, Goldilocks must have been hungry. Maybe she didn't have breakfast that morning. Too lumpy. Too sweet. Just right. After eating the porridge, Goldilocks decided to explore. She went into the living room where she saw three chairs. She sat in the biggest chair, but it was too hard. Too hard. The medium-sized chair was too soft. Too soft. So Goldilocks tried the smallest chair. Do you think she'll like the smallest chair? The smallest chair was just right. But all of a sudden... Whoops! It broke into pieces. Oh no, she's broken the chair. All of a sudden, Goldilocks felt very tired. She went upstairs to find somewhere to sleep. There were three beds in a big bedroom. Goldilocks tried each of them and found that the smallest bed was just right. She fell fast asleep. Oh, she looks very comfortable in that bed. When the three bears arrived home, they were very hungry. But something wasn't right. <laughs> Someone's been eating my porridge, growled Father Bear. I'm starving. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mother Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, cried Baby Bear. <gasps> and they've eaten it all up, poor Baby Bear. The bears went into the living room. <sighs> Someone's been sitting in my chair growled Father Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, wailed Baby Bear. And they've broken it. Together, the three bears marched upstairs to investigate. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, roared Father Bear. And in my bed, too, cried Mother Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squealed Baby Bear. <gasps> oh, and she's still there. Goldilocks awoke to see the three bears. She let out a loud scream. <coughs> Goldilocks leapt out of bed and ran down the stairs. She ran all the way home. And what did the bears do? They made some more porridge. The bears were really, really hungry, weren't they? I don't think it's very nice to take or use something that's not yours. You should always ask that person first. Goldilocks had terrible manners. She even broke Baby Bear's chair. How awful. It's always good to learn how to share things. But remember, 
Not everything can be your way all the time. And it's all right to be curious and go on little adventures, just like Goldilocks did. But never go into a stranger's house by yourself and always make sure someone knows where you are. Do you think Goldilocks learnt her lesson? I think so. She was so lucky these bears were friendly. I hope you liked this book, My Small Wonders, and I'll see you for our next story. Bye-bye.